Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are here at the Timberline Hotel in Government Camp, Oregon. Now, some of you probably already know, or perhaps it's in the title of the video, more than likely. This is the hotel that, um, okay, so this was used for some of the exterior shots in Kubrick's The Shining. So, like the exterior establishing shots, they later rebuilt the exterior on a movie lot, which is where you see like Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson running around on. You'll notice in the establishing shots at the beginning of the movie, um, you can't see the maze, the hedge maze. So that's where I am, Timberline Hotel in Oregon. It is super awesome, by the way. Like we're staying here tonight. Um, obviously it doesn't look like the Shining Hotel inside, right? It's, but it's still a super old hotel. I forget when it's established. I'll have it on screen. Um, they have, it's like, it's all stone and old wood and just really legit cool ski lodge, right? And yeah, it's really cool. It's real like, feels old, feels like like a tornado couldn't take it down if it tried kind of kind of vibe with all the, the stone and just heavy duty of it all um yeah uh so our room we have kind of a small room it was three hundred dollars <laughs> for one night it is on friday night though so a quick tour of the room this is what the our room at the timberline hotel um we got the queen room. An important thing to remember when you're booking your room is to make sure to book one with a private bathroom if that is important to you because not all of them have private bathrooms. So, alright. So as you can see, super like kind of, uh, I guess, ski lodge, mountain lodge, uh, mountain cabin kind of feel. Uh, here is our queen bed. I mean, really glad we stayed here, but oh, that's my purse and stuff sitting there, obviously. Um, but like, this bed was very uncomfortable. <laughs> the walls were very, very thin. So keep that in mind if you're a light sleeper. Uh, this is actually editing, Stacy, uh, because I lost audio here. Uh, but I believe I'm just noting that the restaurants closed uh, pretty early when we were there in 2021. So. Be sure you have a backup plan for food if you're getting there past like six o'clock. Um, also, that's the gift shop you want to go to is the one at the day lodge across the parking lot. It's that gift shop is way better than the one actually inside the hotel. So do that. Um, so I'm super stoked, right? <laughs> like it's just so cool to be here. We're on Mount Hood in Oregon. It's beautiful up here. I mean, it, when we got here, it was super, super like misty drive and like foggy and creepy, just like exactly everything you could have possibly wanted to come see the Shining Hotel, right? <laughs> um, but now we are kind of missing a lot of the view, unfortunately. Maybe tomorrow morning it'll be better. I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. But I just wanted to do a quick hello um, all the details of the trip um, just within the video I'm sure uh, yeah so thank you so much for watching hey again uh, I just have a few clips of video that I took and some pretty good pictures towards the end with a very fluffy surprise towards the end so be sure to stay tuned um, yeah, you know, this is one of my first outings with my new camera that I took here, so <laughs> we're not the best, but you can at least get a feel for what it looks like. Love, this is the front of the hotel right here. Love all the chipped paint <laughs> and just weather-worn. It's just a whole vibe. I super dig it, and I absolutely would return here. It's very far from me in Texas, but <laughs> I would love to come back. I really, really did have a great time in Oregon. And here we go with the uh, 
being very new to this camera, I obviously hit the wrong button and uh, but I wanted to include this. This is one of the only clips that I got of the inside not including the room. Um, this is when you first walk in the doors and I just think it is really really neat looking in here. And here is the view. This is what I woke up to the next morning and it was absolutely beautiful. I love that we got the super misty creepy and then we got the, it cleared up so we could see everything. Um, that building right back there was the uh, the gift shop and a restaurant and probably, I probably like ski gear and stuff. Reading a book, views out the window. Creepy. And if you've read the book, you know about that. If you know, you know. And there is our fluffy surprise. Her name was Heidi, and she was a sweetie and loved belly rubs. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next Spooky Adventure.